Conscious Choice Change is a worksite wellness program that allows you, the business owner, the opportunity to invest in the future financial health of your company by investing in the human capital that are your people. This is Peggy Sue Skipper, and this is the Consciously Curious Goes Global radio show. And I am back with um, uh, just an amazing guy that I just really met. We've been p- playing phone and phone tag for a while, but we just met face-to-face when he walked in the studio today. His name is Henderson Smith, and we're going to be talking about health and wellness today. And he is one of the featured speakers for the 2013 Metaphysical and Healing Expo coming up in January, January 19th and 20th. Correct, Henderson? That is correct. That's the dates I have. Okay, good. Then we're going to be there at the same time. We are going to be there at the same time. Awesome. So I'll be introduced. It's nice to meet you too, by the way. Yes, it's been fun kind of playing phone tag, hasn't it? We've been playing tag better than anybody I know, (laughs) yeah. And I think you're it, or am I it? I think we're both it now. Okay, we're both it. We're both it. We're it and on. It. And so tell me a little bit about what you do, because you actually do uh, a number of different things, right? I do. Living Well Therapies is the company that I'm the founder of and president of. Living Well Therapies, really our mission is to encourage conscious living, engage human potential, and empower people to master themselves in pursuit of health, happiness, and higher quality of life. So that covers a lot of territory. Absolutely. But it fits right in with the consciously curious. It does. And in fact, Conscious Choice Change is one of our premier programs and what we're doing is teaching people skill and discipline to be able to change the choices and habits that affect their health performance outcomes and quality of life overall Mm -hmm. and i know that you uh do qigong tai chi which i've been fascinated with for a long time i'm I'm impressed with your pronunciation of qigong oh thank you thank you so tell us a little bit about those for people who don't know, because really, well, first of all, I've been telling people, look, we're moving into the era of quantum physics. You know, we're, being, we're living in this. We have to know that everything is energy and what we do and what kind of portals we are mm-hmm. for energy is going to be a pre- premium importance. Is that kind of the way you see it as well? Absolutely. We are emanators of energy ah, and okay. we are attractors of energy. Yes. And though we are talking about it as if it's new. This quantum physics thing, this energy engagement, it's been around for millions of years, thousands of years. Absolutely. Fact, uh, we just didn't talk about it in those terms. Well, we didn't talk about it in those terms, and it wasn't recorded history. I mean, uh, 5,000 years of recorded history with Qigong and Tai Chi, the cultivation and development of this energy that is human life force. Uh, qi, by the way, is breath or energy. Right. Uh, gong is work or movement. See, so she is this vital life force. I'm going to give you something. You can steal it and use it in your business Go if ahead. you want because you're going to love this. Okay. Um, I talk to people a lot about um, you know, selfish versus selfless mm-hmm. and how neither one of those really work. So what I think what we, what we all need to get to is chi-ish. <laughs> I like the chi-ish. You know, the chi-ish. Yeah. You know, what yeah. is right for you to, to make you the strongest beam you can be? And then that becomes right for everybody around you as well. That's right. You have to be what you want others to follow. Exactly. You be it, and they will be it, become it. Okay. So how does, how do these arts, these uh, energy arts, Mm -hmm. like Tai Chi, how do they help us do that? What's the point? The point is to bring you into an awareness of self. Okay. We are beings that spend so much of our energy either in the future or in the past Mm -hmm. that we're not spending much time in the now. And now is when every opportunity or possibility exists. It's true, which is not necessarily the same as the present. Right. (laughs) The present, that's a gift. Yes, yes. So uh, what we're really, really talking about here is starting to notice yourself become aware of how it is that you're interacting with others, how in people are affecting you, how you're affecting the situation, circumstance, or condition you find yourself in. Mm-hmm. And mastering your own mind, body, and breath, the mental, the physical, the emotional, the energetic part of being human. Understand it this way. Every intended human result is delivered with the control and deliberate function of the mind, body, and breath. Now, that's a, loud, that's a mouthful. It is, but indeed. If you, but if you think about it in these terms... It doesn't matter whether you're at home, at work, or at play, doing something you enjoy or doing or closing the biggest business deal of your life. Your body is there, your mind is engaged, and you're breathing. True. Right? So there's nothing you can do without those three parts of yourself being involved in the process. But we don't spend any time focused on those aspects of ourselves. Interesting. Just take a moment. 
Take one moment. Engage with me, if you will. Okay. Adjust your posture just slightly so that you're aligning your skeletal structure. Okay, so now you're paying attention to yourself in a way that you hadn't been maybe before because you're looking at the skeletal structure. You're feeling the way your buns feel on the seat. Mm -hmm. You're aligning the skeletal and, the, and, and, and spine of your body, right? Mm -hmm. And so shoulders you're relaxing the, mu the muscles in your shoulders where that tension is held in the trapezoid area, right? Okay, so now bring your attention to your breathing and just notice it. Does it come in and out through the nose or in and out through the mouth? The nose. Okay. Is it slow or is it rapid? Mm -hmm. Well, now I'm thinking about it. I don't know what it was before. Uh -huh. Right now it's kind of slow. Kind of slow. Now, is it deep or is it shallow? That's mm -hmm. a trick question. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you know. breathing deeply or are you breathing shallow? Mm, when I think about it, I'm breathing deeply. Breathing but probably deeply. not always. That's right. That's right. So we become a nation of shallow chest breathers. Mm -hmm. And the efficient utilization of our breath is to expand the lung capacity more. So every part and piece of your body, every muscle joint, ligament, tendon, and internal organ needs energy, needs breath in order to survive, needs right. oxygen. Yes? So instead of fighting for a little bit of oxygen with a shallow breath, maybe give it a lot of oxygen. Right? So all boats float in high tide, yes? Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Right. okay. So now I, got, I can hear people out there going, well, you know, now I even got to think about breathing. <laughs> I don't have enough to think about. I got to think about breathing too. But see, what that <laughs> did was that put your mind on you rather than all of the multiplicity of things that are outside of yourself. Right. And plus, once that's one of those things that once you uh, do a little conscious work in that area, then it becomes more natural. It's just a part of who it you are. It becomes the way you breathe. If you watch babies breathe. Absolutely. They're just big breathers, you know. Mm -hmm. They just... The whole belly and rises. So why does that change? That's a, you know, that's, that's a very interesting question. Why does that change? Why do we go from being these big belly breathing babies to these, you know, little shallow breathing adults? Huh. Aesthetics. Wow. Oh. You want to be cute and hold in that tummy, right? You want to look good. Oh, shush. Right? So yeah. Shush. Yeah. <laughs> and just don't allow yourself the full capacity of a breath. Okay. And in, in the, the minutia of the minute of time that you take to focus on the physical you, the mental you, the energetic you, what you're doing is shifting your whole body's neurological system, the autonomic nervous system, sympathetic, parasympathetic, stress, fight or flight, relaxation, recovery, rejuvenation, restoration, replication of cells. Which aspect of that do we live most of our time in? Most of the time we're in that stress mode. That's true. We've got multiplicity of activities going on. So there's no balance. Over the lifetime of a human being, we're more and more out of balance as we grow older. And so just a moment of time focused on you, the source of everything you experience, by the way, changes the dynamics of what you of who you deliver yourself to be okay. in any situation or circumstance I, I do get that okay and you know it's interesting because we were jokingly talking about I think before we got on the air how you and I played phone tag a lot about mm -hmm. this interview uh, and I don't I'm not even sure we ever spoke nope. once but we recordings played. yeah I got lots of recordings of you <laughs> yeah, and vice versa <laughs> you know we we just but you know for some reason it was okay you know it's like we got the information that we needed, mm -hmm. and it was just so cool to walk in and just meet you for the first time. I really had no idea what you looked like. Mm -hmm. I just I knew you had a great voice. I knew you'd have a great voice for, for radio, but I just you know I didn't know anything else about you. That was that was kind of a cool surprise. It was really in, in, yeah. intriguing. I, I really kind of liked the whole game that we played. It was it was fun. and the culmination of seeing you was really cool. <laughs> yeah. So so what is it you feel like you would really like to share with people? And by the way, I just want to say before I forget. Mm -hmm. And we run out of time that you will be speaking to the Consciously Curious group tomorrow as well, right? I will be. I'll be there. Yeah, so that's from um, 10 a.m. to 12 noon at the Edgar Casey Center, 7800 Amelia Road. So if you like what you're hearing, um, he looks good too. So, you know, so come on out and <laughs> check and out so the real she, thing. so by the way. <laughs> so we're going uh, to be at the Consciously Curious 10 to noon tomorrow, and you'll be sharing your wisdom and maybe showing us some Tai Chi or something, right? I'll be happy to. Oh, awesome. Actually engage the audience a bit, yeah. Awesome. It'd be nice.